Hey y'all, it's your girl, Generational Curse Breaker. I am back with another video for you guys on tonight, okay? So y'all, this video is another get to know me video. So the question is, what is my favorite thing to do when I have free time? And that is reading. I love to read y'all. So let me share with you guys some books that I have and I highly suggest that you guys go purchase these books, okay? So the first book I will share with you guys is this book right here, ladies. Please go cop this book, okay? You can get it um, on Amazon, okay, ladies? Why men love you know what, okay? This book right here, amazing, okay? Amazing. Let me read to you guys uh, certain sections of this book, okay, y'all? It is so good, okay? Um, I'm currently reading it right now, to be real with y'all, okay? But, so basically, this is the top 15 signs that a woman is needy, okay? So, she had asked, you know, some men, you know, basically their opinions on you know, this topic. And so let me read to you guys um, a few of them, okay? So it says, I like a woman who's quiet at times because then you're not sure what she's thinking. She'll seem more secure with herself, like she has control over herself and her emotions. You want to be with a person who can think before she speaks. Hello. <laughs> Okay, um, that's real. Um, let me see. Another section that I liked, okay, and I highlighted, uh, was this one right here. It says, I think a woman who talks less is more attractive because it makes her more mysterious, okay? Um, it is not a good thing to just ramble on, and it's not, okay? It's very unattractive. Learn when to shut up, seriously, okay? <laughs> Um, and then this part right here really had me laughing, y'all, okay? Uh, one guy said, I had one girlfriend who talked so much I could walk away into another room and she'll still be talking. <laughs> one time I was in the bathroom trying to have some privacy and she was talking to me through the crack of the door. <laughs> I really think there was something wrong with her. Oh my goodness. Like, girl, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Talking to him through the crack of the door? Like, was she obsessed? Like, seriously. But anyway, that was hilarious to me, y'all. Ladies, go cop this book. It is so good. Like, it's so good. Okay, another book I highly recommend is, uh, y'all already know, Spiritual Whistleblower's book, y'all. Very great book, very informative, you feel what I'm saying? Um, the Bait of Satan, okay? This book is very powerful, very powerful. Amazon has it, y'all go cop this book. Um, last but not least, uh, Psychopath Free. This book is amazing. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. Okay. Recovering from emotionally abusive relationships with narcissists, sociopaths, and other toxic people. Okay. This book is from or written by Jackson McKenzie. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But yeah, y'all. This book right here is really, really good. Like you would have to... Well, me personally... It's so deep that I had to take breaks because it was just like, oh my gosh, like it, it really, you know, help you, uh, recognize these people's behaviors, you know what I'm saying? Like their, their behaviors, you know, uh, in regards to narcissists and things like that, y'all, it's very, 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 very good. Please go cop that book. Okay. But that's pretty much it for the video. You guys, I love to read. I love to, you know, uh, basically educate myself you know what i mean i love to elevate my mental you feel what i'm saying but yeah that's pretty much it for the video it's your girl generational curse breaker if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe peace and love